This AI didn't just generate images, it crafted mind-blowing, ultra-detailed artwork in just seconds. I've been putting Flux Context to the test, a powerful free AI image generator and editor, and honestly, what it can do might totally blow you away. If you're into AI digital art, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my deep dives. Alright, let's jump in, I will show you how Flux Context works and what sets it apart and if it's really worth choosing over the competition. So pretty much Black Forest Labs actually introduced Flux Context and the BFL playground a bit later about the BFL playground but let's get straight into the context of what actually flux.1 context actually is. So here you can see that it's unlike existing text-to-image models, the Flux.1 context family performs in-context image generation, allowing you to prompt with both text and images and seamlessly extract and modify visual concepts to produce new coherent renderings. So for example, we can clearly see here how this AI image generator actually works. For example, here we have this first image and then they prompted image context from A. The bird is now sitting in a bar and enjoying a beer. And then we have C, image context from B. There are now two of these birds. Down below we have C, watch them from behind. And then we have the E, the two bird characters are now sitting in a movie theater. So pretty much you can see that it really understands the context. So it pretty much inputted this first image and then based on the first image, it created multiple versions of those and they reprompted every single newly generated image, which I think it's super, super cool. Now, down below, we can also scroll down and see here performance, performance evaluation. Pretty much Flux Context, it's actually number one here. As you can see, Flux.1 Context Developer, it's right here on the left and it scored the most on, for example, Character Preservation ELO Leaderboard. And then here down below, we have a GPT image and just right behind it, Flux Context right here. So pretty much you can expect really good performance about understanding the actual context of this model. So Flux.1 context from Black Forest Labs. Now they not only introduced this model, but they also here down below introduced this playground BFL where you can pretty much use this model completely for free. If I go here under the generate, you guys can pretty much see what other people are creating and some of the examples. So for example, we can take a look at this image. We can see here the image it actually generated. And if you want, for example, to edit it or modify it on your own, you guys will click here on edit and type in whatever you like. For example, here it says diner, but we can type in here instead of diner, write McDonald's. Here is my simple prompt. Instead of diner, write McDonald's and add a signature and sign to it. So pretty much you can click here on three dots here and you can see here batch size. You can reduce this, for example, to two and then change the output format as well. I will leave it to PNG. And uh, let's click here on the arrow and let's see what will flux.1 context actually do. I think that this is super cool that it actually understands the context here. So here you can see that request is moderated. So unfortunately, we cannot use here McDonald's. So let's try something completely different here. Instead of diner, write dinner and let's click here on the, on the arrow. And let's see what will happen here on the flux context. You can see here that the generations are actually already in the process. And uh, we already have here both of the modified images. Both of them look super, super good. And also the, the actual writing is spelled correctly. And I think that this is beauty of this absolute AI generative model. So it can understand the actual context. Now you guys will go here on the image and you can, for example, even generate your own images as well. So click on generate and here you have an option to pick this model. So flux.1 context pro, flux.1 context max, and then you have also other models, but these ones aren't optimized for the context understanding. So I highly recommend that you guys use this one, which ends with pro. And then here you guys can also upload your own image. For example, I will upload one of the images I use Used on my thumbnail for example we can use this one which is a pokemon card and now here type in instead of this creature generate a cute puppy so this was my previous image which i uploaded and let's click on the arrow here to see what will happen and i think we are gonna get 
four of the actual images for the result. And down below, you guys can, as I said before, see a lot of the examples of this model, which I think looks super, super cool. So pretty much this model understands the context quite nicely and it's all for free. And you guys can see here that it's already started to generate the images here and hopefully it will do the images quite nicely. So here we have four of the images. I think all four of them look super, super cool. Now, one thing which I will try here I will go with this image, click on edit, and here I will ask it to change the background. Now here I will ask it to change the background to the beach and the sea. So just like this, change the background to the beach and the sea. So let's see what will happen here. Here we can clearly see that it started to generate and the first image it's actually already generated. So the Poppy looks almost the same as on the images before, but here the image looks super, super clean in my opinion. So yeah, it truly does understand the context as you can see. Now, if you want, for example, you guys can also add the another image here and you guys can fill it. For example, if I upload this image of Charizard, we can here add the area to fill it. For example, we can just circle this thing and here I will ask it add a cloud to this image. So just like this, I will click on the arrow and hopefully in just a few seconds, we will have a simple cloud on top of the Charizard's head. So let's wait for a few seconds here. And now we can see here that the variations are actually starting to generate. So pretty much we can see here that it's loading. Now, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to it because it truly means a lot and you don't want to miss next episodes of deep dives of the AI tools. So for example, we already have here the second image, the third one, and also the fourth one. You can see that it unfortunately did not correctly render the cloud. So yeah, you can pretty much expect some of the issues with this model, but nevertheless, I think it's a super cool model to use, especially for free. Then if you want, you guys can also expand the image on your own. However, one simple trick, which I will show you here is if I go here to already generated images, we can go, for example, here to this ball and I will ask it here to edit this image and instead of, of a ball of pandas, generate a ball of puppies. So just like this, instead of ball of pandas, generate a ball of puppies, I will click here and hopefully we will get a result here. And as I mentioned before here on the left, you guys can see here that you have the generate option, edit option, fill and expand if you want to expand your images. Then history, you also have here your own images which you generated. And then we have the favorites. Now down below, you can pretty much see here already generated images. So there are four balls of puppies instead of pandas here. And all four of the images I think look super, super clean. And uh, yeah, I think it's totally usable to use this in another project, for example. Now here down below, you will of course have to have your own account. And this platform actually works on the credits. As you can see here, I have 25 of my credits on this platform, which you can pretty much use on this platform. So yeah. In my opinion, this model is totally worth using. Even I think if you want a different context understanding, maybe even over the chat GPT image model. So yeah, it's totally free to use and I will leave a link for it in the video description down below. Now, with that said, I would highly appreciate if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel for more AI content tools and AI news every single week. Now, with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.